Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and in this video we will be taking a look at the 5 strengths that Ben White will add or bring to Arsenal. The 5 strengths of Ben White. So obviously Ben White will sign for Arsenal this month, definitely this July and he will become an Arsenal player. So we will also try to compare him and the current Arsenal defenders or the defenders who played for Arsenal last season and also compare him to the rest of the Premier League in terms of um, defensive um, attributes and all that. So we'll, we'll take a look at his strengths and try and compare it to the other players, Arsenal players and the rest of the Premier League. Is he better? Is he worse in some cases? We will find out. So I will save my best attribute until the end. So try and watch until the end and make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into it. The first strength I'm going to take a look at is bringing or carrying the ball from the back. The ability to move with the ball forward from a defensive position and you bring it towards the midfield. Ben White definitely has that. Stones at Manchester City, Laporte at Manchester City, Maguire at Manchester United, they do this very, very well. Carrying the ball to midfield. Luis, who played for Arsenal last season or the last two seasons, he was the only player who could do that for us. Yes, Gabriel can do it a bit, but the rest of the players, the likes of Holding, the likes of Chambers, they're not good at all in terms of carrying the ball. Many teams play from the back these days, so that kind of defender is in pure demand the last four or five years. Every team wants a defender who can play from the back, a defender who's comfortable on the ball, passing in and around the back with the goalkeeper, with the, your defensive partner towards the midfield, carry the ball forward to try and pick out some passes. Every team needs that and Ben White can definitely do that. No player completed more take-ons than White's 24 take-ons in the Premier League last season. He took on opponents from a defensive position the most times, 24 times. And only six players across Europe beat that. Only six players across Europe. In the Premier League, he was number one. And across Europe, he was the seventh in terms of taking on players from a defensive position. He is not afraid to take the risk. Obviously, that can work against you sometimes. But he succeeded most of the time. So that is one strength he'll definitely bring to Arsenal. He needs someone who can carry the ball. And uh, he'll definitely bring that attribute to Arsenal. So that's the first strength that Ben White has. The number two strength that Ben White composes is interceptions. In case you don't know what interceptions are, here's what Opta defines it as. A player reads an opponent's pass and intercepts the ball by moving into the line of the intended pass. So basically, before a pass reaches their target, the player intercepts it. The player gets the ball before it gets to the opponent. We see N'Golo Conte doing this day in, day out for Chelsea and France. And Pate as well, he knows how to read the game. It's basically knowing when to go for the ball, knowing how to read the game, knowing when Salah is going to pass the ball to Firmino, seeing the pass from Bernardo Silva to De Bruyne, intercepting it before it gets to the target. That's what intercepting is. Last season, Ben White made 62 interceptions. Let's try, and, uh, let's try and compare that to Arsenal players. The person with the most or the player with the most interceptions for us last season was Sabios. He had 35. 35 interceptions. Ben White had 62. In terms of defenders, Gabriel was number one in, in interceptions for us. He had only 26. So Ben White has more than double our best interception player from last season. That was Gabriel with 26. Compared to the other Premier League players, Benarek had 84, Brownhill had 69, Neves, who we've been targeted um, with, had 65, Bisuma, another player we've been linked to, had 64, Aaron Wan-Bissaka had 62, Sus Sushek had 62, and Ben White also had 62. So, that's, that's a really, really good, those are really good numbers. Compared to Arsenal, he's way better than what we have. In terms of the Premier League coming in and around 5th, 6th position, 
that's very good. There are so many players who play in the Premier League. So being ring, ranked on top there with uh, on top of players from City, on top of players from United, Arsenal, Liverpool, that's very, very good. He prevented opponents from attacking and that is a big, big benefit towards the team. It's, it not only benefits you in terms of defending, but the moment you intercept the ball, if the other team are trying to attack, you can break, break on counters and uh, try and attack the opponents and stuff. Um, that could be the difference between going 3-1 down and equalizing to make it 2-2. You could be 1-0 down and the opponents are trying to get their second goal and Ben White intercepts the ball, puts Aubameyang through or puts Pepe through because it's also good with the long passes and all of a sudden it's 1-1. So that could be very, very crucial and um, those small things in the game can make the difference. That one thing that you can do, one of these interceptions probably from the 62, a couple of them probably led to some goals. So that is very, very important. So that's the number two strength that Ben White composes. The number three strength that Ben White composes of is tackling. If he doesn't manage to intercept like we've just talked about, he can still get back and manage to make a good tackle. Last season, Ben White made 49 tackles. Let's try and compare that to Arsenal players. He made more tackles than any Arsenal defender from last season. And in fact, the only Arsenal player to make more tackles than him was Granit Xhaka, who had one more tackle than him. That is 50 to 49. Compared to other Premier League defenders, he ranked 11th amongst centre-backs. So not that great, not that magnificent because he wasn't in the top 10, but compared to how many defenders play in the Premier League centre-backs, more than 50, more than more, maybe almost 100 centre-backs who played last season, he ranked 11th. So those are good numbers. Holding and Murray giving unnecessary fouls. I talked about that in my match reaction for Arsenal against Millwall and I saw Holding and Murray making a couple of unnecessary tackles in and around the box. If you do that with um, the players like Ward Prowse and Madison, if he doesn't join Arsenal, you're, go you're going to concede. So such players are very good from free kicks, so there's no need of getting or committing silly fouls in and around the box or even anywhere around the your, your own half basically some teams score from that the likes of Burnley and Crystal Palace that is an attack for them so Ben White had a lower foul per ratio than our defenders so in terms of fouls per 90 minutes he made le less than all our defenders basically all our defenders made more fouls than him last season so that's another good attribute that Ben White has the fourth attribute is versatility now we are signing him as a center back but he can play as a right back he can play as a right wing back he can play in different positions in fact i've already done a video talking about the three positions ben white can play for arsenal in case you haven't checked it out i'll link it up in the youtube card right now and the link will also be in the description in the more videos section so Maybe we can even play as a goalkeeper when needed. If we don't sign Ramsdale and you only have Leno, we can take a shot at him playing as a goalkeeper. But that is the fourth strength and can definitely really help us. That's the other reason why I think we won't actually sign a right back because of people like Ben White. He can cover a lot of different positions and that is a major plus. The fifth and final attribute is durability. Now, this is the most important aspects of all that i've talked about according to me durability last season he played 36 games in a congested season the season was very short and that's why the likes of um the fa cup um replay they were scrapped because the season was so short and all the games needed to be played lots of games were postponed and had to be arranged differently and stuff and ben white still managed to play 36 out of the 38 games that's not what is magnificent about that. The previous season in Leeds championship winning season in their promotion season, he played all 46 games in the championship. Championship games are usually on Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday. Maybe Sunday, Wednesday and Saturday. In terms of playing every single game, that is a major, major plus. Being able to play every single game in the championship in a title winning season that is a very, very good attribute to have. Compared to Arsenal players, how many games did Tierney play last season? More than 30? I don't think so. How many games did Pablo Mari play? Last, less than 30? Definitely. How many games did Bellarmine play? Less than 30. 
this guy played 36 games so that is a big big plus compared to arsenal arsenal players we pick up so many injuries and ben white if you can play all 38 games not even all 38 even play 34 33 games in terms of creating relationship with the goalkeeper and the rest of the defenders that is very very important so those are the five strengths i've been able to come up with for my research and watching him so let me know which of these attributes impresses you the most is it the carrying of the ball is it the interceptions is it the tackling which one is it so as of now make sure you drop a like on the video keep staying safe i'll do another video talking about his weaknesses hope hopefully they're not too many and i'll catch up with you guys later